going to show you how to train your dog to roll over. This, um, the technique for this one is called back chaining. You teach them in small and small and small pieces until everything comes together. And the first thing we need to teach them is that they need to follow your lure to at least start to roll over. And again, remember rewarding your dogs in small steps. This trick sometimes comes really, really fast for some. Some dogs just roll right over. Some dogs just don't quite get the idea depending on how they're built and they might need a little bit of extra time. Again, when you're working with your dog on an individual trick, don't work for a very long period of time. Just work to a point where they're successful and stop. If they get to a point where they're not successful and frustrated, go ahead and back up a step, start all over, and reward them when they're successful at whatever step they're at. If they get totally frustrated and walk away, bring them back, have them do something simple. Come, Percy, come. Percy, see it? Awesome. Good girl, she's successful. She remembers that success. They're gonna remember the last thing you do when you're teaching them a trick. And if you got upset and, and, and got frustrated and maybe they, then they read your body language so well, they're gonna remember, oh gosh, when I do this, mom gets mad and irritated and I don't wanna do this. So it's really good to do whatever you can to leave everything on a high note. And, and if you get frustrated, do something simple, walk away and come back later. So the first step in this, of course, is getting your dog to lay down. Where's he down? Sit down. There you go. Good girl. Now, in this behavior, you're going to actually lure them over. You're going to take the treat and you're going to put it over on their shoulder like this. And, oh, look at that. Good girl. Yes. Good girl. Good girl. That might be the first thing our dog does. And you can say, that's awesome. Yes. Lay down. Good. And you can, as you start to progress in this trick, you can add in the verbal cue of roll over. You can add in your your uh, physical cues so that eventually they connect with the physical, the verbal, and the, the behavior. Because dogs do really well with physical cues. They just read people's body language very well. And especially with herding breeds, they notice the tiniest little thing that you do. See? Good girl. And you want to make sure that they understand all of those things so that if you're across the room and you do this, they're just going to drop and roll. This one is still working on distance. She's only eight months old, so she's doing pretty well in her training. And so we do that, and we're gonna. Oh, oh yes, almost, yes. So oh, that's a girl. Good girl. You know she was going pretty good. So I'm gonna bring her back up. Good job. Good job. You also find that some dogs have a side like people do. They're right-handed or they're left-handed. Like Percy, when we were training spin, spins for days one direction, but when she goes the other way, she'll need to do one or two and then automatically turn to the other side because it's more comfortable. So it's really good that when you get these tricks is to work them on the other side as well. So we're going to try that again. Percy, roll over. Roll over. Yes! Good girl! And then they finally get it jackpotting them, saying, oh my gosh, it's so awesome! Yes! It's going to make them want that jackpot. They love to be jackpotted because it's exciting. It's okay to get silly and loud and moving, jumping up and down. We do happy dances sometimes when we get it. She likes the happy dance. It just each individual dog works differently. Some are more timid, some are more outgoing, some are less energetic, some are more energetic. So certain tricks are going to be easier and harder to train. One of the things that I had frustrated with Percy when I started training her this trick is I really wanted her to get up on the other side. And she's going to offer me other tricks right now. She's wondering why I'm not treating her for a behavior she just gave me, which I'm not going to name because she'll do it. And that's because I didn't ask for it. So I'm not going to reward her for it. I'm going to totally ignore her. And I'm even, if, even I'm not much cute that is, I'm not going to reward her for that. <laughs> okay, Percy, pay attention. Percy, down. Roll over. Oops. Roll over. Yes. And I couldn't get her to get up. So I started throwing the treat. And when I throw the treat, she immediately would get up and go after it. Percy, sit. Percy, down. Percy, roll over, all the way, oops, and she didn't do it. So I just say, oops, and we try again. Percy, sometimes she just gets real excited, and I actually still, at the age, even though she knows this trick, down, at the age of eight months, I often have to go back to the beginning, down, yes, and lure her over, yes, good girl, good roll over, good roll over, yes. Now again, as I wanted her to get up, I would throw the treat at the very end. Come here, Percy. Good job, Percy. Come here. 
Now you'll notice if I try to do it the other way, she's definitely going to have a little more difficulty. And that's okay. Yeah? Yeah? See, she wants to go that way because that's her favorite way. Oops! Oops! And I'm just going to get lower over and she's going to say, oh! And you can see the way she's laying too. Sometimes you just need to reset them down. It was harder for her to roll over because of the way she's doing it. Okay, so she's starting to get frustrated. You can see she's frustrated. She's biting at me. She's like, I don't know what you want me to do. So in order to end this session on a positive note, I'm just going to ask her to do it the way she does it really well. Sit. Yeah. Roll over. Roll over. Now, you can see that she's just a little frustrated. So and it's okay to go back. Down. Easy. Roll over. Because she gave you the behavior you wanted, maybe she didn't roll to the side that I wanted her to, but she was getting frustrated. So I went back a little bit and made it easier for her and rewarded. And we're just going to continue to work on this behavior as she gets older. Patience is a key. Small sessions are a key. And not getting frustrated is a key. Stop being if you're frustrated and do something. Because that's what we're supposed to be doing with our dogs. Yes!